Hello! It has been a while since I have done a ringed binder video, I feel like, and I've been promising this one for a while, so here it is, finally. This is my mini Malden in gray that I'm using for a travel and activities planner. So let's dive right in. No charms or anything. Let's just show you how I've got it set up. The only thing I have in the front here is just a little pad of post-its for notes before I start entering them in. I made all of my dividers. They are just... Uh, cardstock paper that I cut to size, didn't even laminate. There, there is scrapbook paper, but it's thicker. Um, also, one of them is a Project Life card that I've had for a while. So, the first section is for in the area. So, there are things that are local to us that I want to do, um, I want to check out that we haven't checked out so far. So, the first one, restaurants. Um, it goes without saying, I keep I'm covering it up a little bit because you know, I don't really want my location broadcast to the world. Um, so if you want to be really stealthy, I'm sure you can figure it out. But I just have the name of different restaurants that I've heard good things about, their location, um, and their phone number in case I need to call for reservations. So I've got a page for that. The next page, similar, is for activities. Uh, I have two kids, two boys, one and four, and so most of these are just things I want to do with the kids, things that are local to us that somehow in the years we've lived here, we've lived uh, in this town for coming up on six years, um, but these are for things in the area, um, like within 30 minutes to an hour away that, uh, that we'd like to do, that we haven't done so far. So again, I have the name, the address, I have hours on this one, um, and if, if appropriate, I have ticket prices. I can show you the setup for some of the ones that are more day trips um, in the next tab. So my next tab is day trips. So I thought this was a really cute paper, for especially for this. So um, we live within a day trip distance of Asheboro. And so there are a couple of things there, the North Carolina Zoo, North Carolina Aviation Museum. I found a couple of restaurants that are supposed to be highly recommended for there. Any sort of places around the area, this section, I have a page or two per place um, for things that we want to check out, things that we, we, we like doing, especially in the summer, um, weekend day trips, take a Saturday or a Sunday and uh, just spend some time going a little bit further afield. So I have one for Asheboro, I have one for Winston-Salem. Um, I have a book that my in-laws gave us when we moved here that's day trips from our area. And so that's, that's what I'm using in part. I haven't finished going through it yet. So those are just the first two that I have. So my day trip section will continue to be fleshed out. My next tab is for soon to happen um, vacations or whether we have an exact date, vacations that I'd like to take in the next year or two. The first one is actually a planned vacation. I have a business meeting in Wilmington and so we decided we we're going to make a week of it. I've covered up the dates we're going to be there because internet crazy stalkers, enough said. Um, but I have hotel ideas, uh, other things I might need to know, activity ideas, and again, with activities, we have phone number, address, hours, prices for tickets, more activities and things to look into, dining ideas, recommended restaurants. Um, and then this, I in one of the Facebook groups, someone was visiting Wilmington and posted a picture from a shop that they went to that had a bunch of filofaxes and other notebooks and things. So it happens to be only a couple of blocks from our hotel. So I'm going to check that out while I'm there if I have time. Another trip, we'd love to go to the mountains sometime. And so this is for my planning for that. Currently, I just have, I've heard that I have to take the boys to the Tweetsie, Tweetsie Railroad. So that's what that is. Um, yeah, again, this is the point of this binder is to grow and uh, evolve over time. So my last section, again, this is an appropriate scrapbook paper for it. My last section is for trips that I would love to take someday. It's basically a wishful thinking area. I don't really have much in this section because I haven't had time to daydream, really. I've been focused really on the reality of a one and four year old in daily life. But when I have time, I would love to flesh it out with places I'd like to see, things I'd like to do, restaurants I want to go to, shops I want to see, that sort of stuff. So I have one for the UK, 
because my husband and I would like to go there once the kids are old enough to be left alone, or not left alone, but left with the grandparents, left with not parents, um, for a week or so. So I want to plan that trip, and then one of my bucket list trips is to India. I don't know if I will ever get to go, but I would love to. So that's what this area is for, is just wishful thinking, hopes, and dreams. <coughs> Excuse me. It's never a cold that I've had this week. So in the back here, I just have more um, masking stickers. I love masking stickers, so you see them a lot in my videos. Masking stickers for um, from the paper collection. These are all kind of map and transportation themed. Ones that look like airline tickets and bus routes. And I just thought they were fun for this and appropriate. I actually ordered this the paper set entirely for that reason. And then a couple of more plain ones for the day trip um, and the local things so it's not as much traveling and then just one of my trusty zebra I think it's SLF1 you think after all the times I mentioned this pen I would have it down but it's the telescopic zebra pen it starts all little it's perfect for um, minis and pockets and you pull it and it's a good writing size so I have I think four or five of these now they're kind of an addiction too so I hope that this was helpful. What I love about doing this in the pocket, in the mini size, is that it is so portable. So when I'm packing, chuck this in. I've got all of my information right there. If I don't have cell reception, that's okay because I've got the addresses all written down. I don't need I don't need to the internet to look up um, look up phone numbers or anything. So I'm hoping it will be a good travel buddy, but. I hope that this was worth all of the anticipation leading up to it. Uh, I would love if you would like it, if this was a helpful video for you. Subscribe if you want to see more. I have a video that will be coming up again this week um, that I'm going to be filming about an update to my Chic Sparrow Mavericks, back to Traveler's Notebooks again, but I'm now using it as a wallet, so I wanted to do a video to show that and showcase a couple other new notebooks that I've gotten. And there always is more coming, so always will be more videos to check out. So I would love it if you'd subscribe so you can keep up to date with all that I've got going on. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.